Hi, my name is Grayson, and welcome back to my booktube channel. I just received my Rainbow Crate book box for this month, the month of August, and I am so excited to open it. Since this is my first video doing a Rainbow Crate unboxing, disclaimer, I am currently a representative for them, so I'm not completely unbiased, but I can say with my whole soul, I love this box. This is now the third box, I believe, they've sent out. I'm very, very excited to get into this one, so let's just go ahead and dig in. First thing on the top of the box is the Earth print for the month. I've read all the books for this month except for the Stirless Sea, which is the next book on my to read list. So since I don't recognize these characters, I think it's safe to assume these are from Stirless Sea. And on the back, we have all the items, so not gonna look at that yet. Next thing we have in here is a tote bag. Always love a good tote bag. With a quote from Austin Chance, uh, ooh, that's a little bit messed up, S.A. Now Chance, Peter Darling, uh, Peter, the author's name is not S.A. Chant, their dead name was Austin Chant, which they put on the bag, which is a bit of an oopsie, but either way, I love this book, it was absolutely amazing, so I'm very excited to have an item from it. So, quote on the bag is, he breathed out and settled in the feeling of being himself, of being something whole. I already, in like my last video, talked about how much I love this book and the trans representation, so I really love the quote. It's also going to reflect the trans identity in the book. Definitely going to be using that a lot. Next thing we have here, got a tube, so I'm going to assume this is a poster. No, it's a, um, what are they called? Book jackets. This month's book is, is The Duck Tide by Alicia Jasinska. Just, I'm so bad at pronouncing things, y'all. Uh, but that's the book of the month, so this is a different book jacket to go with the book. Uh, next thing we've got in here, that's unique. We have a clock. I've never seen a clock in any bug box before, so that's quite unique. I do not recognize the characters on this clock. So, that's the clock unboxed. I'm going to take a peek at the item code, because I honestly do not recognize the characters on here. It says it's from the last two posts of the sea. I recently just finished that. But I guess that's just not... I guess that does look like them. I imagined the characters differently, but I guess that does look like the two main goals in there. So put him aside. Then we have the Book of the Month, which is covered in these crinkly papers. Uh, so The Duck Tide by Alicia just... Not even gonna try to pronounce that again. We already... We already tried that. The Dark Tide. I really love this book cover. The metallics and the waves are absolutely gorgeous. Who's the designer of this book? Does that have the designer in here? Most books have the designer right there and I don't see it though. There it is, Helen Crawford White. I'm gonna have to look her up because that is some gorgeous designing there. Do we have anything fun on? I was hoping there'd be more fun covers on that, but there's no unboxing or anything on the cover here. But it's an absolute gorgeous book. So I really don't know much about this one. I've seen some people hype about it. I know it's sapphic, and that's about it. I think it's fantasy, but don't quote me on that but I'll definitely be adding this to my to read stack. And as with all the books in this box, we have the author signed book plate. Um, next in here, we have the secret item to go with the book. Honestly, it's I have a very big to read stack, and this one isn't one I'm super hyped to read, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and open the secret item, because it'd probably be 
a long while till I finally read this book if I don't, and I'm not somebody who like, super cares about spoilers. So if you don't see the secret item, I'll put a timestamp to after I open it, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what it is. Oh my god, that's gorgeous! This is the best secret item we've had in this box yet. We have a tiny wooden engraved music box. That is gorgeous! Can you see the little gravings inside of it? That is super, super cute though. I like that a lot. Next in the box, gonna guess that's some jewelry. Yes, what is this? Now I'm just literally looking at the spoiler code. Well, you know, whatever. We're getting spoilers now, I guess. Um, this is apparently also from the Stola Sea, which is the book I haven't read yet. I'm about to start it literally today. But it is very pretty. Personally, I don't wear necklaces. I'm not a necklace wearer, so I'll probably pass this on. But it is really gorgeous and looks really well made. High quality. Honestly... Maybe I will have to try necklaces. Maybe I will have to try to style it, because I like it a lot. I just usually don't like wearing necklaces. But I do like that one. Um, continuing on. Uh, next we have the monthly collectible, which in this box they do magnets each month. This month's magnet is Monty and Percy from The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I kind of hate that I really do love these books despite the author not being the best. We're not going to dig into the Mackenzie Lee situation in this video, but I honestly do love these books a lot. So like, you know what, I enjoy that. And like, of course for this, like, the money doesn't go to the author, so you know, I want to let myself enjoy it. It's very cute. I really do like those characters. If I just separate them from the author. But yeah. This is probably my favorite magnet we've gotten thus far. Um, then we have a letter from the author of The Dark Tide, which I'll read later, and the monthly newsletter. So yeah, that's all the items from this box. So we have the Peter Dudley tote bag, the, um, why did I already forget the name of the book that this clock is from, looking at the code, last two posts of the C, clock. I've seriously never seen a clock in a subscription box. I'm kind of surprised by this. Do you have to say, though, the print on it does not seem the highest quality, which is a little disappointing, because this box I usually love, because the items are so good, it's so high quality. It's a little disappointed by the quality of the print on this clock. It's, like, not high resolution. Uh, then we have the Stola C necklace, which, once again, take another look at that. Like, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Uh, Gentleman Dad Advice and Virtue Magnet, the mystery item with the book, and of course the book itself with the author letter and the signed book plate. Oh, and the, um, the alternative dust jacket as well, which I should probably take the closest to that. Honestly, I like the original cover more than this one, so I think the original cover is going to be staying on there for now. So yeah, that's the overview. This video is probably not going to be the longest. Don't really know how to make a super long unboxing. But yeah, that's another Mango Crate. As usual, I'm thrilled to buy this. Love this box. This is my last month being a representative for them. Starting next month, I will no longer be a representative, but I have already ordered boxes for the next three months. Hopefully going to be a bit of a ton of subscriber even after those three months, because I really do like getting these. And this is my only subscription box I get, so it's a joy. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked this.